Welcome back to MT Engineering. This is the final assembly of this maze treasure machine using Soldox. And here we will see many assembly commands, assembly mates, how to use design library in Soldox. And finally, we will add this cool animation on it using Motion Steady. So keep watching. I hope you'll enjoy it. Open assembly, click OK. Then open parts, click part and select all of this and open. The first part is inserted and by default it is fixed. Place it around here. The second part adjust the view and put there and drop here at the front I think this pulley I'll place it here and this big pulley I'll place it here and this motor I'll place it here and the second here now it is ready for assembly so but there is some problem here we have to edit this sketch so click this edit part save and continue first we have to save this assembly then edit this part drag it down and go to sketch edit this sketch So here is we forgot to specify the dimension of this distance. So click this and go to smart dimension, add a dimension on it, specify the dimension here. S type the distance 82.5 millimeter, then exit the sketch. And exit the part. Now it is ready to mate. So choose this face mate and this face, then click OK. Drag it towards up here and again choose this face and the circular face met circular met and again choose this face and this face coincidence met similarly we will do similar to that choose this face coincide concentric met Again, choose this face and this circular face, concentric mate, choose this face and this face, coincidence mate. Now, click OK. Here we have to add, we have to go to design library, click add in now. The toolbox is loaded, so go to unsymmetric, choose bearing, 
choose ball bearing and choose radial ball bearing again hover around this circular edge of this bearing and click there so specify the size here Forty. Now it is too large, so we have to decrease this a little bit. Now we get three by twenty-five. Here is twenty-five is a bore diameter, and again place it around this face and it is then we don't need extra click X we have to add a mate on it so click this mate and go to advanced mate we have to apply width mate here choose with smith click the back face and this face and the opposite face it is placed in the center apply similar to this choose this face apply with smith and this part of opposite face and again this face and this face it will properly centered so go to this and edit this part We have to make it detailed display and with a cage. Here is the detailed view show us the balls of the bearing. It is ball bearing and we add a cage on it. Then I think it is ready. Then so click OK. Click, right click, edit toolbox components and apply similar thing to this. Go to detailed and add a cage. Click OK. So choose this face and met and this face coincidence met click OK and drag it around here again go to advanced met choose which mate choose this face and this opposite face and again this face and exact opposite of this face this is placed in the center choose this face and this circular face go to standard mates and choose concentric mate now it is concentric with this 
similarly to this face and this face concentric mess drag it a little bit out choose this face and this bottom face and coincidence mate click ok drag it around here zoom it a little bit we have to go to advanced mate choose this face and the opposite of this part face and again this and the opposite Knight is properly centered choose this face I think you get the idea about which mate click OK again choose with mate choose this face and in the next tab section choose this and this mate click ok go to standard mate choose this face and this face coincidence click ok choose this face and this bottom face coincidence click ok and here go to advanced mate with the mate choose this face and this face and again choose this and this face it is properly centered click ok now we have to assemble this part choose this face mate and here choose this face click ok choose this face and this face coincidence mate similarly do the same thing here now it is rotating we have to assemble it properly here choose this and this coincidence choose this face and this face coincidence mate choose this part and this part we have to lock rotation lock this part now they are rotating together if the pulley is rotating 
the tracer will rotate with it so choose this face mate and this face coincidence click ok save this part save this assembly sorry go to assembly features belt and chain choose this inside face of the pulley and this face now we get this belt now they are rotating together here choose three parts and make isolate now it is isolated from all of these part assembly and we have to edit this part so go to edit part and choose this face sketch we have to fill this area so the corners will not fall out to this edge this this edge and this go to convert entities this converted drag this point oh it doesn't meet properly so go to three point arc choose this point and this point around there similarly do this thing for this face now it is closed we have to draw a circle for to pass the shaft and specify the diameter the to 100 millimeter and go to features extrude both base extrude it around 10 millimeter around 50 millimeter and click OK. Choose this feature, we have to mirror it. Choose mirror entities about the front plane and click OK. Now it is close to from both of the sides. Exit isolate sketch and exit edit part now it is properly placed so save this part here we have to make a real belt so edit this feature good scroll it down and create belt part check create belt part and click ok now it is treated as one part and we have to edit this part then go to sketch choose this line and edit the sketch but first choose top plane and plane we have to make a plane at this point which is parallel to the top plane 
of the part click this point and it is ready choose this plane and sketch zoom it towards this, this area choose line draw a line around here here and close it right click select go to features swept post base choose this face and this sketch it is ready so click ok now the belt is ready choose this sketch and hide it you can add an appearance on it go to appearance choose the swept one and make the appearance around black now it is ready it will rotate together with the above pulley you'll see this motion later when we add when we go to motion steady now save this assembly rebuild and save save externally this belt choose this we have to edit this part you have to add a leg on this feature so go to 3d sketch edit the sketch go to line a line along Y here, right click, select, and again choose line, draw a line along Y axis, and select, choose this line, this line, make them equal, and choose this and any of these lines, and make equal. Now it is fully defined, so exit the sketch. We have to unhide this part, this sketch, and go to weldment. Choose structural members. And standard and see inch type to square tube and size for three by three and new group choose new group click these sketches now click ok We have to unhide this sketch. Think it is ready. 
so exit edit part first we have to do something choose this face linear pattern along this direction in reverse direction then click ok now it is ready exit edit part here we have to make a hole to fasten this assembly and go to position choose this face zoom it a little bit drop the pointers here the whole positions around here and here in the opposite choose around here over around here and we get the center here and here now it is intersecting so we have to decrease the distance I think 400 is better It doesn't intersect with any of other parts, so click OK. We will put okay the same thing go to section view and flip the section to the top plane right click okay it is ready normal to this face and similarly go to hole wizard we have to add some hole here choose 25 diameter size position this face place this hole around this point and this point in the opposite around here and this point so click OK since we don't need any other holes back to normal view and here go to we have to add a bolt so go to bolt and screws head hex head choose this head and choose format hex screw 
place it around here. Zoom it a little bit. Change the size to 20. M20. Length to 140 millimeter and choose chamfer here is then click ok place here another bolt and choose this inside face and this face it will made automatically And in the opposite direction, choose the inside face and here choose this inside and this face. Choose this inside and this face. Drop it here. Now, since you don't need an Another bolt, click X. Drag it a little bit up. We have to add a mat on it. Mat. Choose this circular face, click OK. Choose this face and this face. Coincidence mate, click OK. Then click OK. Here we have to add the same thing. Add to this motor snap back this tree and go to design library choose bolt place it here snap back this and Choose M16 Specify the length of the bolt Now I think this is good. Click OK. Okay. Change the length is around one hundred twenty and schematic. It will show you the real trade, but it is we now we choose simplified, then click OK. Sim similarly, drop this bolt on these holes. Now it is made. Choose this face and click OK. Exit insert components. 
now we have to save it rebuild and save and here we will add nuts go to design library choose nuts hex nut and hex nut hex heavy nut place it in at this bolt the size choose m20 double chamfered and choose schematics then click ok choose this face and place the the nuts here and here zoom it out and we have to add another nut here go to design library go to design library and choose hex flange nut place it here We will edit, we will apply it later. It is not properly placed. Go to schematics, choose size M20, then click OK. So place this nut here, choose this face then click OK choose this face and this circular face click OK in the opposite direction we did similar to the previous place it here choose this face and this face place it here upon click it will place it there then exit this we have to Add a mate go simply choose this face mate with this face flip the direction click OK then click OK exit mid now our assembly is ready go to we have to add animation on it go to motion steady choose animation Choose motor and 
choose this face specify the speed and click ok then hit calculate or play button is calculating choose the playback mode to normal and disable auto key creation enable auto key creation mode and choose this face and change transparency it will place automatically it will add out the key choose right side view Disable auto key creation. Scroll the time bar around this eight second. Tap this and choose this view. It will add a key and scroll the time bar around this. 12 second tap this and tap spacebar choose this view top view it will add automatically the key scroll it around 16 second tap this and back to isometric view it will add automatically then calculate snap this to bottom now it is ready so thanks for watching i hope you are enjoyed